Hey dolls, welcome back to my channel. I'm so, so super excited that you decided to join in and watch this video. This is going to be a very different video. I am going to be um, reviewing the Estee Lauder Double Wear Foundation. However, I this is not going to be like your regular review video. I'm going to show you how to do my eyebrows, which is what I'm currently doing, and then I'm going to move into a comparison between the two most popular shades for dark toned or dark skinned women, um, which is the sandalwood and the amber honey. Before I purchased my foundation, I was really confused with which to get. And I was hoping that someone would have done a video like this for me so that I could see someone who has a, who has a similar skin tone try them out side by side so I could make my decision. I am an impulsive online shopper and ashamedly so. So um, I buy a lot of stuff online. It actually really helps when people do YouTube reviews of these shades because you can actually match yourself to people who have a similar shade or share a similar shade in other kind of foundations um, in order to make your decision. So I purchased the sandalwood as a blind buy and it turned out that it wasn't really the most complimentary shade. So I had to do some more research to find out what was my true complimentary shade. And I made this video just for people like me who are considering switching to Estee Lauder Double Wear and want to figure out what their true shade is, probably because they haven't been matched correctly or they are battling between two shades, which would be sandalwood and amber honey. I hope you enjoy the video. So now that my face is primed and hydrated, I'm going to wait for this to just dry down a bit. This is basically my product. I'm going to wait for it to dry down a bit and then I'm going to go in with my foundation. So the sandalwood shade is actually really strange because it is 6W1 and essentially this has a very warm undertone. So if you are a person who has like a golden undertone, then you would go for all of the W's in Estee Lauder. If you are a person who has like a rosy or a red undertone, then you would be more on the cooler shades. But depending on how dark the foundation is, and then depending on your undertone, you will have a C, an N, and a W. Essentially, look for the first, look for the first number, and then look for the letter to figure out which um, spectrum you're on. So as I'd mentioned, I have very yellow undertones, so I thought, okay, you know what, I am very warm. When I tried this sandalwood, and by the way, guys, I put a pump on, like, there's nothing that irks me more than YouTubers who review this foundation and they go, I really don't like the fact that it doesn't come with the, go and get a pump, like, Max sells a pump, it's 125 Rand, put it on the foundation and keep it moving, so, hi, there you go. This foundation is not an issue, if you really want a pump and it's that much of a big deal and you don't want to waste product, go to MAC, MAC sells foundation pumps and put a pump on your foundation. So anyway, that's my rant over. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with sandalwood, but when it went around my mouth, I turned really, really gray throughout the day. I will post a photo to actually show you how it looks. But today I want to show you if you're a person just like me and you're struggling between getting sandalwood and getting amber honey, I'm going to show you exactly how sandalwood looks and I'm going to put my sandalwood on this side and then I'm going to show you how amber honey looks and at the moment I just have my sample because I'm waiting for my bottle. I bought it at the Woolworths Beauty Sale so yay. I've got the sandalwood bottle and then I've got this sample and this is amber honey and I'll put amber honey on this side. It seems like my primer has dried down now so I'm going to go in with the foundation. Okay guys, so that is my left side done. It really isn't going to start looking any better, so I'm just going to stop putting the foundation on and then I'm going to put it on, on my right side with what my true shade is, which is amber.
I mean, I haven't even done my forehead, but guys, it's very, very clear to see that this shade is much better on my face than this one. Like, this one completely grays me out. But um, I'll just continue and I'll do the top, aka my forehead, and then I will show you a side-by-side -side comparison. But I love how this is looking because it's so clear to see. Okay, guys, I absolutely love this comparison. I'm so glad that I did it. Um, especially because I wish someone had done this for me um, before I bought the foundation. It's a very, very lovely foundation. Like, I love double wear, guys. It's so amazing. I'm just the type of person who's never felt like foundation has made a significant difference in my looks. Like, I always put it on, well, historically, I've always just put it on and just felt like, okay, this is a thing that we do. But I've never felt like it truly enhanced my skin tone and the way that I look. Until I purchased Double Wear, and thank God I did. Like, I just love the way that it goes on. It's so lightweight. And also, I have acne-prone skin because I have hormonal acne. You can see I've got breakouts on my forehead, and I've got that big black um, scab or scar or whatever that was left over from my previous breakout. And you can feel it when you put it on. So there's other foundations. I won't obviously say names or brands, but if you know the previous makeup that I used to use or the previous foundation I used, it is that brand. Guys, whenever I put that foundation on, like my eyes would start to water and itch, they'd go red. I got a rash around my face. It smelled like paint that I was putting onto my skin and it felt like paint. But if you, like me, are an impulsive online shopper, you can see the side-by-side -side difference where I've got my sandalwood and I've got my amber honey. Slight difference, especially now as it's um, drying down. It's a very, very slight difference, but you can definitely see that the amber honey side is much more complementary to my skin tone, brings out my shade more, looks much better. Mm -hmm. 